Hello and welcome to Hobbified Life. Uh, today I'm actually going to be doing my very first book review. Uh, I have a few books that I've already read in this early 2019 uh, and I will get to those but recently I just bought four of Simon Sinek's books and the first one that I got uh, was Together is Better which it says here is a little book of inspiration. Uh, so I just wanted to dive into this and uh, you know to see what it was about. It's very short. It has illustrations. So I was going to talk about this book today, uh, and then I'll talk about the other books once I, I finish those. The Start with Why, Find Your Why, um, and Why Eaters Le Eat Last. So anyway, stay tuned, and we'll jump right in. <laughs> Okay, if you're new to this channel, you know that I recently changed um, how I'm doing this channel. And one of the things that I want to do is to inspire others to follow their hobbies or, you know, start living a life that's filled with something that they, inspires them, that, that they're passionate about. Um, one of the things that I am passionate about is to uh, learn and then also read, but, you know, give that information to people to hopefully better themselves. Um, Simon Sinek, if you don't know who he is, is sort of along the same lines. He's an optimist. Um, I know that he has a TED Talks. I believe that's where I had found him. And then um, I use an app called Goodreads, uh, which if you guys want to link up with me there, I, I could post that in the description as well. But um, anyways, he, he does little things like where he tries to inspire individuals, but not just individuals. He wants to enact uh, a change in the way our world, our society works. So he's inspiring uh, anybody from millennials to people that are in the workforce now to really like live a life or work uh, in something that they're passionate about and be passionate passionate about the work that they are doing. Um, this book in particular, Together is Better, um, honestly I've never had like a, a reading experience quite like this in, in, in years. Uh, it reminds me because there are illustrations and I don't want to like you know, just to show you what I'm talking about, illustrations. Um, it's it's sort of like a children's book. There's a children's story that's sort of infused with this idea of how to step out of the mold. Um, where you're in, you know, this corporate America, you're in a part of a, a job where, you know, there's some sort of order and there's a guy who uh, is the boss or CEO who imposes his fear upon, you know, the workers to you know, get work done to be productive. And many people are just sort of getting by living that way. Um, you know, whether we have bills, obviously, we have these fears that keep us in jobs or uh, in places that maybe we're not really passionate about. So the book itself and all of 2019, really, I've been reading books of sort of like self-discovery, self-help, uh, sort of keeping me motivated to help me continue to make change. Um, as you know, one of the things that I'm trying to do is become a software developer. And one of the pa things that I'm passionate about is trying to create an app that, you know, changes the world, makes the world a better place. Um, with my psychology background, I was hoping to do that with maybe an empathy app. But um, this, this title, this book is about how we can, you know, really find people that are like-minded and to go out as a group together to take the risk of being productive, take the risk of being innovative, uh, to take the risk to, you know, find something that they are passionate about and, um, you know, having the support of a cast. Say if you had a friend who's also in a, in a like-minded state or, um, you know, people that you find in a new place that you travel to. Uh, to surround yourself with some support because in and it, this says together is better uh, is the title that you know we're sort of weak if we're individuals uh, it's hard to make a change um, as a single unit you know but we as people when we're together then obviously we can make um, an insurrection of sorts you know we can a, re a revolution of sorts and uh, throughout the book these guys make 
you know, they it starts on like a playground type atmosphere and they decide to stand up to the bully or the boss and these guys go out on their own to, you know, see what the world is about, to conquer some fears, to go on this great adventure. And then when they come back, they, they see that, you know, some of the problems that they had faced aren't that big anymore and that leadership enacts other leaders, you know, it, it makes other people become inspired. Um, and I think that is a really cool message. It's really brief. The, the book itself will probably only take 20 to 30 minutes, you know, if you just sit there, maybe not even that long. Uh, I, I took some time to um, really look at the illustrations. I just kind of like the art. It's it's simple. It's fun. And there's uh, there are copies that, like my copy in particular, has a scented page. So it sort of brings in like this extra element of reading. And there's also a, a song at the end where you can go to a website and listen to the song. Um, and the idea and the message at the end is that if this does inspire you, this book inspires you, that you pass it along to a friend to inspire them. Um, so I just wanted to highlight this book in particular. And I think that if anybody is on the same path as I am, that, you know, that, and I came from a place uh, in particular, and I may have talked about this before, but um, I was in a situation in a corporation where I wanted to you know, stand up for some people that I felt like were getting wronged and I uh, stood up to my boss, which is what sort of what the beginning of this book is. So it sort of hits home a little bit, bit for me. But um, uh, I just think that, you know, in my opinion, that uh, corporate America, corporations in general, that uh, a lot of people are sort of just going through the motions and maybe that's comfortable for them. Uh, fear is difficult to get over. Uh, fear of the unknown, fear of not having, you know, security and money, um, you know, fear of the money to pay the bills and things that make us comfortable. Uh, so it's difficult. Obviously, I know that. Uh, but for me in particular, uh, something that I want to do is to reach out. Um, I'm looking to make these changes in life to move, um, you know, to a place where I feel like I could be more productive and be of more use and um, get involved with, you know, in the community and hopefully, uh, inspire others to do the same. So anyways, I'm just going to recommend this book. Uh, I'll have, uh, these other books in the description as well. If you want to read, uh, some more of Simon Sinek, but, uh, this one will definitely be underneath. And I encourage you to, to take a look at it, especially if you're looking for motivation early in this 2019 and, you know, you, you want to make a change for the better in your life or in, or in other people's lives. So anyways, I hope you enjoy it. I know this is brief. Hopefully it wasn't too awkward. And this is my very first book review. So I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you all in the next video.